Hey, hey bro. bro. Hit my intro. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, J. Rock. I'm back in effect. I'm live and direct, and I'm coming at your neck with yet another. Video, 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 baby. Ah. The video, man, as always, just like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, then just do it if you want to do it, because Jesus said this is the right thing to do. Video, man. Yeah. So, I've got something that I that I am almost certain. It, it's also it's all, it's almost an axiomatic truism at this point that I, if you've been on my channel uh, through any extensive period of time, then you know my affinity towards blues my affinity towards blues music so we're about to check out gary bb coleman the sky is crying i mean that's i can just infer that this is about to be a visceral selection that we're about to embark on so it's nine minutes Without further ado, bam, let me put on my headphones of truth. We're going to do what to do. We're going to check out Gary B.B. Coleman. The sky is crying. Hopefully, I can contain myself. Let's do it. Mm. Even from the first lick, it just epitomizes blues, that organ. This is mixed as well. And this bass, the tone, the tonality from the bass. This bass looks like. Did you see the tears roll down the street? The sky is crying. Mm, space, man. Space. Can't you see the tears roll down the street? For my baby, mm. and I wonder what can she be? It's only been two minutes. I saw my baby. Strings, that's you not hurt me so bad, y'all. Come on, it made my poor heart skip a beat. arrangement is just 
infiltrating the recesses of my soul, man. like a Gibson. I don't give a fuck what it sounds like. I just I just know what it sounds like. No way I would be able to contain myself. I can feel it is imminent.
You know, let's just allow that to breathe for a moment. This was, in, in my very, in my very in, incognitant or incognizant perception, as someone that, that is enamored completely with blues, this was the epitome of at least as it pertains to what I, my qualities that I love in blues, this epitomized everything. Now it wasn't bombastic, it wasn't grandiose, but it didn't have to be, it was, it was visceral. It was poignant. It, I'm not even sure if I could really, really articulate any adjective or words that would even remotely even remotely um, you know, summarize symbolically about what what this song did to me. And for people that may be presuming that I'm, I was overreacting, no. That just means that you're not, you, you, you're you not a frequent viewer of my channel and you haven't seen my other reaction to blues music because you can ask anyone who's a frequent, uh, partici a frequent uh, viewer of my channel and they will inform you that, yes, this is how I react every time I hear blues music. It's, it's, there is no, this isn't an aber, this is an aberrant. There is no aberration. There, there is no, uh, um, um, you know, subverting from normalcy. This is literally how I react to every blues song I hear. And it's not because I have this particular, uh, I, I suppose it's because it's, it's somewhat implicit that I have a bias towards blues, that anything that I hear that's within that, that genre uh, uh, classification, I, I just, something internally within inside me that it, it is almost intrinsic, just, it just manifests itself. So, I mean, this was, it was, to me, this was also representative of simplicity magnified into, into virtuosity. So this is simplicity that also is, is, an, is, is indicative of virtuosity because for nine minutes, it encapsulated me, and for nine minutes, it entranced me, it hypnotized me, it mesmerized me. All of those adjectival words I can ascribe to this, it did that multiply times 100. Because there wasn't a multitude of, of changes, there wasn't a multitude of things, but what was so poignant about it and so visceral about it was how it Analogous and also correlated to what the song is pertaining to, the subject matter, it, it was that lamenting, it was that, you know, lamentation, lamentation of, of a, of a, of a for, foreboding sense of, of almost morose, melancholy, morbidity, you know, externalized into a sonic palette. Um, these particular kind of songs don't require um, an interspersing of, 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 of different core, though it had different core progressions, of course, but those, br br it didn't require it. It didn't require it. It required a guitar bass drum, excuse me, uh, bass guitar, drums, and an organ, and a singer. And the guitar 
is was the most prominent the most prominent ent prominent entity within this piece because the guitar was an entity of in itself it almost was an anthropomorphized into the song because it almost had a voice it the guitar was it, it was almost as if the singer uh, uh uh which i presume is gary coleman would would transverse his soul into the guitar and the guitar was hit the vessel and the conduit for his voice and that at times the verses would just be simply the guitar and that it would almost speak and at one time i even re i even i even referenced that it, it was speaking to my soul because it was and it, and you know to also just sort of uh briefly and, and you know and uh cons and succinctly touch on the lyrics as well you know the sky is crying can't you see the tears roll down the street so it's this somewhat you know hyperbolic um anthropomorphizing the the sky as a as a metaphorical sense of his of of, of his you know lamentations his um his melancholy his the feelings that were present and evident at the particular period of time you know it's it's sort of that that classic trope that 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 sort of archaic or arch, excuse me not archaic but archetypal trope within blues music to be referring to some some form of some form of unrequited love um you know i saw my baby early one morning she was walking down the street i saw my baby and this repet this repetition in this manner is meant to it's it's really a motive it, 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 it's an inv it's an evocation of of this a uh, foreboding sense of of longing for an unrequited love from this particular individual, and you know the verse three, you know, uh, uh, concludes with "I got a bad feeling my baby don't love me anymore." So that's it's interspersed as well with with uh, it, it's conflated with all of the feelings that that are ascribed when you can 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 you're on the precipice of losing someone that you care about as it pertains to a significant other or family. It, it's you can you, it's sort of intuitive that you feel the the once camaraderie that you that each other possessed the once love that was supposed that was there is now fading away and and nothing is more agonizing existentially than knowing that this that there is absolutely nothing that you can do to salvage it perhaps and that exercise that 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 um being cognizant of the futility of that this song i believe perfectly encapsulates and captures the essence of how that sounds sonically and lyrically so i'm not an individual to dictate to how an individual because music is subjective and it's predicated on subjectivism but objectively speaking if you doesn't if you don't derive some sense of i don't know some some form of, of auditory pleasure from that at least or at least a respect of the craftsmanship and and how visceral that is, I'm not sure. You, you, you may, you may not. Your soul may not be present, my friend. It may not be. It just may not be present. It just you, you may be a soulless fuck, and 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 I'm sorry for that. I'm so, I, 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 I'm so sorry. That's not even being disingenuous, or or um, condescending. I, I'm sorry that if you can't derive a sense of feeling of something internally embedded within from this. Perhaps it's just not your taste. It's maybe it's an acquired taste for me. Maybe it's it's my implicit and bias. But damn, something. But anyhow, man, I I I could wax poetic all day, uh, with a multitude of incoherent platitudes about why this song is what it is. Listen to it for yourself, and derive your own sense of meaning from it. And that's the beauty of music: is that we all derive something different from these particular pieces. So. As always, man. Visionaries are so you must say best never scratch my do very best. Live, love, love life, cause why? Cause life is beautiful. That's why I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side, baby. I'm out of here. <sighs> Glad I made it through this. Deuces. <laughs>